Okay, so everyone's doing these whole empties videos things. Thought I'd add my opinions to the mix. So I have a few empty things. Do you know, it really takes me ages to use anything up. And I start off really sparingly. I'm like, I'm going to make this last. And then by the end, I'm like, come on, come on. And um, so these are my empties. First, Bioderma. I have another three bottles of this. I'm already on to my next bottle. I love this stuff. I use this to remove my visible makeup and then I follow it up with like a, a gel or a cream cleanser to wash my face off but this stuff is just my favourite makeup remover. I haven't found anything like it. Usually I get really stingy eyes with makeup wipes and um, this stuff just takes it off and doesn't hurt so I don't think I need to say too much about this because I, because I think you know, I think you all know, I think you all have a bottle and you probably like it as much as me and if you don't then what can I say you're missing out next thing is this origins ginseng eye cream and uh, this took forever I use this like every day and every night and I know it's not a night eye cream but I just so desperate to get rid of it um, if you want to know my opinion on this, this was in my worst products of 2011 for a reason. I famously said if Twilight were an eye cream, this would be it. I just, I hate this. I hated this. It didn't cool my eyes down really, it didn't depuff them, it just kind of gave me some sparse glitter under my eyes. I thought this was pointless, really. I didn't get any moisturising benefit from it, I didn't get any cooling or depuffing really. Um, I just got kind of like a glittery layer and um, this was just so disappointing. This hair mousse from Four Seasons, it's a volumising mousse. This was a PR sample. I reviewed it on my blog but I wasn't particularly impressed or overwhelmed by these whatsoever. I got, I've got two, I'm still using up the other one. Um, not a mousse, a, a spritzer thing. But I think this is overpriced for what it is, it delivers decent volume, it's nice mousse, there's nothing wrong with it, it doesn't make my hair clumpy or anything, but I think £10 for a bottle of mousse is ridiculous when I can get it for 5 from Tresemme. 24 hour body mousse, what what? So this for me was definitely not something I would purchase, um, because on the basis that it was, it was fine, and for me to pay £10 for something that's fine for my hair, it's just like, no, I, I wouldn't. It's hard to describe, but it was just okay. That, that's all I needed to say. It was just okay. That's all I needed to say, but I just went on this kind of lengthy tirade. Next, I have two House of Glory products. One is called Imp, and it's the Soft Bubbling Scrub. And this smelt delicious. It smelt like... Passion fruit calippo ice creams and just really fruity tropical fruit like fruit salad sweets that we used to get in like the 90s. You used to get them with blackjacks in a little paper bag from the news agents. Um, that's a bit specific cultural reference. Um, it smells amazing. I love this. I've ordered another one. I love the way that this is a really gentle scrub and it foams away in the shower and doesn't leave your skin oily or sticky. I hate oil scrubs. They're, they're just gross. But then again, it doesn't have those kind of kernel-y things in it. Like the apricot scrub which really scrape your skin or it doesn't leave residue in your shower like the lush things. Um, this was a really fantastic scrub. I've I rushed to repurchase this. I, I thought this was fantastic. I would definitely be using this for quite a long time. It's one of the best I've found so far. Next thing is this um, whipped soap and it's in spring tonic number two and it smelled like cucumber and parsley. Um, a bit more on the parsley than the cucumber. Um, I've bought another whipped soap in a different scent. I find it quite hard to find the whipped soaps on their website. I don't know if they just don't really sell them anymore. Um, this was really really good for shaving my legs because I find that shaving gels really kind of irritate my legs, they make them really dry and scratchy and then I scratch them to death and then they bleed. I look absolutely awful because I have white pasty legs anyway so it just looks horrendous. This was great because it didn't dry out my legs, it foamed up a little bit, it wasn't over the top. Um, but overall it was a nice product. I've repurchased but I wouldn't say that it's 
amazing it was just nice next i have two creams i have this clarins uh, extra firming day cream sample and this extra firming night cream i thought these were pretty good i don't know i wasn't unimpressed i guess it's not like i was overwhelmed or underwhelmed i was just kind of whelmed kind of like a shrug product um but this was quite nice, it didn't make my skin oily, it was a pretty good cream, it smelt really good, I really love the smell of these. And it lasted forever actually, the tube looked really empty when it came in my glossy box, but it um, lasted for ages. The night cream, really moisturising, really pleasant to use, and yeah, it was pretty good, it was a pretty good cream, all over. But I wouldn't ever buy them, I'm not that impressed. Okay, two last things. Um, Makeup Forever Face and Body Foundation. I've been trying to use up all of my foundations and I picked my, one of my favourite ones to start with because it was nearly done and now I feel a bit sad because I'm trying not to repurchase it because I'm trying to use up all the other crap I have before allowing myself a foundation purchase. What can I say about this? I love this stuff. It's brilliant lovely lightweight foundation which evens out skin tone i would say it's really good for oilier skins because it has a more matte finish than face and body from mac which i found to be really dewy and almost slimy feeling on my skin like it felt like a moisturizer which hadn't sunk in it felt really unpleasant to me um but i love this it just gives me decent coverage lasts really well the thing i hate about it is the rose scent it smells like old ladies um, well, old lady talcum powder, like my nana used to have this like rose scented talcum powder, it smells really old fashioned and talcum powdery, um, but it's a really fantastic foundation, really good. Last thing, I am sad to announce the demise of my Laura Mercier mineral powder, I'm trying to hold off repurchasing this, I love this, I removed the sifter so that I could get at the last few remaining little crumbs because this stuff is seriously the shiz. This is the best mineral powder I've ever tried in my life. I love it, just, it just blends really softly over the skin. It contains micas that kind of give you this natural glow. Uh, it's just a beautiful, soft, finely milled powder. I tend to use over tinted moisturiser to give myself a little bit extra coverage in the summer, but I love this product. I love it. I. I'm trying really really hard not to go run to the shop screaming and like buy a case of it. It's going to be a sad summer without it because this is my go-to summer foundation but we shall see if come July I might, I might allow myself a cheeky purchase of this because this is easily one of the best mineral foundations I've ever tried. So that is all of my empties. Let me know if you want to see more videos to this effect or not. Feel free to say no. It's not like I'm going to get offended or anything. Have a lovely day everybody. Hope you enjoyed. And if you didn't enjoy then um, well screw you. Um, bye. <laughs>